Do you think you're losing hair, but you're unsure? Well, figure it out. Did you switch your shampoo to Nioxin? You think that's gonna solve your problems? Forget about it. I'm about to spill the ice cold tea on hair loss secrets. Sugar honey ice tea. <laughs> What's up everyone? So we're gonna be talking hair loss today. Now, when it comes to hair loss, would you go to a dentist after you lost all your teeth? Or would you look at your teeth and be like, hey, they're not doing so well, I'm gonna go and have them taken care of. Hair loss is the exact same thing. You wanna get on top of it, you wanna know if you're losing hair, you wanna know at what rate you're losing hair, and you wanna get some professional advice and care before it's too late. Now, some basic secrets. The number one medication for hair loss is going to be finasteride. It only works in men, and there's a lot of controversies about it because it can cause things like erectile dysfunction and things like that. But I got a secret for you. I use it myself in a topical formulation. I combine it with Rogaine and Retin-A. I, I use it in a little dropper and apply it so there's no side effects. I use that twice a day. Now, when it comes down to it, if you're a female, you can't really use that. There's a little secret I have for females though. The number one thing you're gonna find out about is that Rogaine for women doesn't work very well. And the secret is to use men's Rogaine. That's the percentage you need to regrow that hair. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more substantial, one of my favorite treatments is going to be PRP. It's when I draw your blood, spin it down, extract the growth factors, and inject them into your scalp. When we do that, it's gonna help slow down hair loss, it's gonna help sustain everything that you have, and it really makes a difference. Um, now, when, it, when you are talking about shampoos and things like that, most of them don't work. Uh, what you're gonna find is that the shampoos are gonna only help you make your hair healthier, they're not gonna really change what actually happens to your hair. By no means does that mean that you can't use the shampoo, but don't rely on Nioxin. It's not the answer. Now, what else can we do? Well, for some of you guys, it's too damn late. You're pretty bald and getting about 5-10% of your hair isn't going to make that much of a difference. If that's you, then we're talking a hair transplant. A little known secret about Hollywood and the sports industry is that most of your big time celebrities have had hair transplants. Even if you're not losing that much hair, it can definitely make what you have a lot better. Uh, last but not least, we have vitamins. There's lots of vitamins out there. You wanna be on biotin, you wanna sustain everything you can and keep your hair happy and healthy. I gotta go do a little vampire facial, but if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out.